now we'll define for our reinforcing bar size so if you want to change your bar size suppose see here here uh, it's given number two three four five six bar but we'll not use that i'll just clear and i'll let common bar set and as per si i'll use bar set as the mm so here you're seeing bar set 10 mm 12 mm 16 mm 20 mm which what are required and uh this is the bar size also you have ability to change it also you have ability to change it as per your requirement if if you provide here 23 somewhere 23 mm bar size are available just if you get 23 also change its area and change its diameter as per your requirement like 23 divided by 25.4 see here yeah. also calculate area and change it so i will not change i'll just clear everything at common bar set yes sign okay is it clear and then go okay this is the way to change your section properties so we have completed changing all of our section properties but as we're not using any tendon section so we'll not go for it if you go for tendon section uh standard area then here the uh, only one material type is available here so i'll not use that not use that also for deck section if we go for steel structure we have many options available field unfilled if you take your mouse you will see this is unfilled for field this is for solid slab okay there are many options actually so as per your requirement you are able to change it as per your design category actually i'll close it i'll close it thank you thank you very much from our next lecture i'll go for our next as uh, topics like we'll go for pile level then spindle level then we'll go for our load pattern load case especially load combination will create some special types of load combination so that when you need to change anything we can do it okay thank you thank you very much